morning again. I hope you're all coping well. Our reflection this morning is based on our reading from the Old Testament, from the first book of Kings, chapter 3. The reading is the whole chapter, which would be far too long, so I've taken the portion where Solomon has a dream about God. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream, and God said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. Solomon answered, You have shown great kindness to your servant, my father David, because he was faithful to you and righteous and upright in heart. You have continued this great kindness to him and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day. Now, Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of my father David. But I am only a little child and, you do, and do not know how to carry out my duties. Your servant is here among the people you have chosen, a great people too numerous to count or number. So give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. For who is able to govern this great people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for this. So God asked, said to him, Since you have asked for this, and not for long life or wealth for yourself, nor have you asked for the death of your enemies, but for discernment in administering just justice, I will do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never be anyone like you, nor will there ever be. Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honour, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience to me, and keep my decrees and commands as David has, your father did, you will, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon awoke, and he realised it had been a dream. Now at this time in the story of the kings of Israel, Saul had gone, David had gone, and Solomon was just starting his reign, sorting out the factions that had supported his brothers instead of his legitimate rule, and now Solomon wants to try to rule according to the commandments of God, just as his father David tried to, although, you know, David did fail quite regularly. Solomon is in the mood for listening to God, and because he is listening, he heard God. In his dream, he could have asked for the moon. He could have asked for flab fabulous wealth for fame and fortune, for everything that his heart desired. But instead, he asked for wisdom, for discernment, to be able to rule with wisdom and justice. 